one. Hello guys, this is the Soda Depot here, and we will be deciding on what is the best Thomas special using this bracket that I made. So how I did this is I did the four most, the four, um, I looked at all the spe ranked specials videos and I averaged it out. These are the four that, ever, that most people said the top four. Now I'm not counting the Adventure Begins because it couldn't fit in this kind, it wouldn't work in this kind of bracket. So I took out the one, I took out the shortest one, which would be like the least, because that's more like if it, that's, that was like a celebration of 70 years. So, I don't really know how this works, but let's see which one's going up against Soda's Legend of the Lost Treasure. Um, what? The Great Discovery, what? Oh, we have to publish the back. Okay, this is weird. Oh, I have to... Okay, I just need to pause this because I need to make an account. Forgot I need to, I didn't know I needed to do this. This is stupid. But I will be doing this. Okay, guys, I am back. So, right now, we're going to see who wins the Great Discovery against Misty Island Rescue. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. This is all my opinion. The Great Discovery, I think everyone would say The Great Discovery. The Great Discovery was a good movie. And The Great Discovery was like my... I loved The Great Discovery when I was little. I was fairly young when it came out, and I loved it so much. I have the Morgan's Mine Take Long set. I won the Action Canyon set, but I never got it because my parents couldn't find it anywhere. I only saw it at Toys R Us, like, long after like I wanted it. I mean, I saw it at Toys R Us when I wanted it, but I didn't ask for it because we were just going to get a take-along engine. And then I saw it at, like, Costco, like, three years later, and I didn't even want it anymore. So, yeah. And I have, like, I got, like, so much stuff that year for Christmas, like, that year. I got Stanley and all that stuff. Take-along. Not really take it. Take-along. Okay. So yeah, Great Discovery is going up against Soda's Legend of Lost Treasure. The Great Race against Calling All Engines. How do you do this? Okay, just go this. Okay. So when The Great Race came out, I didn't watch it when it first came out. I watched it later since I wasn't really into Thomas at the time. I kind of got back into Thomas um, a few months ago. And I mean, I've seen it. Ugh. Calling All Engines was like my childhood. It came out like... A little bit after I was born, and I had the DVD or the VHS. I think it was a DVD. Yeah, that was a DVD. It wasn't. It was a disc. So, and I was watched it nonstop. Like if I pull it out and watch it, it'll be so scratched up. It's on Netflix though. But Clone Engines is my childhood, so I have to give it to Clone Engines. Hero of the Rails against Day of the Diesels. Both good movies in my opinion. Day of the Diesels was not a bad movie. The characters introduced were the bad part. Well, Norman Paxton said he were characters. Belle was a horrible character. I hate Belle so much. Dendart and Flynn were okay. Um, Hero of the Rails. I mean, I was still pretty young when it came out. So I was like, it was such like a weird experience watching it. Because like, season 12 come out. So there, I had known their mouth. Since I didn't know what CGI was, I just thought they made their mouths move in season 12. And then when I when they switched over again, I was like, I mean, I was like, I knew their mouths moved, but I just thought, I didn't really know that they actually used models before since I was a little kid. So I didn't really know what I thought, but it was such a weird experience watching for the first time. I did, a, I put a lot of thought into this, giving it to a Hero of the Rails. Now, which this actually just happened, um... Um, Journey Beyond Soda, the newest movie against Thomas and Metro, the oldest movie. <sighs> Both and films. Thomas and Magic Railroad, in my opinion, is the worst Thomas movie. And yes, it's worse than Missy Island Rescue. So obviously I'm giving it to Journey Beyond Soda. Now, I'm gonna go backwards here. Blue Mountain Mystery against Journey Beyond Soda. It's obvious. We're not a mystery. King of the Railway against Hero of the Rails. From a nostalgia standpoint, it has to be Hero of the Rails, but from a. I'm moving it to Hero of the Rails. I loved that movie when I was little. Calling Engines against Tale of the Brave. 
Come on. It's obvious which one's the best. Cold War Engines, duh. And then, of course, Great Discovery against Star Wars Legends Lost Treasure. Pretty obvious that the Great Discovery is just a tad bit better. That one was really hard. That should have been the championship, but how it worked out, Star Wars Legends Lost Treasure wound up going up against Great Discovery. So. And I pretty much spoiled it for you. Here's the Rails against Blue Mountain Mystery. Here of the Rails goes to the championship alongside. Alongside the Great Discovery to see, just to see that the Great Discovery wins. So there you go, guys. This is the bracket. Now, Hero of the the Soda Sage and Lost Treasure is better than Hero of the Rails. It's better than Call of Legends. It's better. Soda Sage and Lost Treasure is the second best Thomas movie. But how it just turned out is it got eliminated in its first round. So did. All of the um people, same with all the movies you got a bye week, except for Blue Mountain Mystery. Even though they're all really good movies, it just didn't turn out how they wanted it to. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, guys, this is you might not like this. Oh, by the way, thank you to Bracket Ninja for supporting me with this bracket. Couldn't have done it without you. This is the only one that actually has good brackets that you actually understand. Now, guys, thanks for watching. Guys, subscribe today. By the way, this is all from a nostalgia standpoint from my childhood. That's the only reason The Great Discovery won, and that's the only reason that Clone Wars Engines and Here of the Clone Wars Engines made it that far, and Here of the Rails even got to the championship because it's all a nostalgia standpoint. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Guys, subscribe today. This isn't the best Thomas movies. This is how I feel about them. Help my, like, help me, how I, how much they mean to me. Bye.